Okay, so the first thing we want to do is take a look at the model of 40 gate that we have, which in our case is a 40F. And we also want to take a look at the firmware version we're using right here. The reason we want to do this is because certain 4 to AP models require that you be on a certain firmware version in order to support that model, as well as be on a specific 40 gate model altogether. So it's possible that you may have to upgrade your firmware, and it's also possible that you may have to update your FortiGate in order to support some newer 4 to AP models. So after we take a look at this, we verified that these particular versions and this model uh, is, does support the particular 4 to AP that we're using, which in this case it's a 40 AP 231. After that, we go to the Wi Fi switch and controller and we take a look at managed 4 to APs. And the first thing we want to do is select our 4 to AP 231F and we right click on it and authorize. Once our 4 to AP is authorized, its status will show online here. Once that's done, we can go ahead and create our first SSID. So we go to SSIDs, create SSID. And here we're going to use the name Office. This will be our private network. Because this is going to be our private network, we're going to go ahead and bridge it. What this means is it'll be using the same IP range as our local area network here in the office. We're also going to create the SSID name. And for this example, we're just going to use office. We will enter a password. We'll select OK. Once we have done this, we'll need to go into the four to AP profiles. We'll need to select our FAP 231F default profile which is the profile in use for our 4 to ap 231F. We will need to select it, right click and edit. And we will go down to where it says SSIDs. In this instance, we're just going to select the manual button and go ahead and add the SSID that we just created. And we did this for the 2.4 gigahertz band. And now we will do the same thing for our second radio, which is our five gigahertz band. So we'll select manual the office SSID. We'll click OK. And now those SSIDs will be inherited by this profile and then they should now show up on your network. Okay, so we have successfully created our office SSID, which is a local bridge. This SSID, this Wi-Fi network, has access to the LAN here and it gets addresses from this 192.168.148. And it also has access to the internet. Next, we're going to create a office guest internet, which will only have access to the WAN, the internet, and have no access to this LAN here. In order to do that, we go to Wi-Fi and switch controller. We select SSIDs, create SSID. We're going to create a name, office guest. Put our IP address here. A net mask. Okay. For this one, we're also going to create a DHCP server. We'll go ahead and just leave this range the way it is. And leave this net mask. We'll also need to change the SSID name this we'll just use office guest and we'll need to create a password and we select OK OK we have successfully created our office guest SSID now we need to go into the 4 to AP profiles and for this we will select our FAP 231 F default profile select edit we will go ahead and add our office guest SSID for the 2.4 band as well as for our 5 gigahertz band. Select OK. Now that we have created both our office as well as our office guest SSIDs and they're showing up under our 4 to AP, now we need to go create a policy for our office guest 
SSID and network to have access to the WAN or internet. In order to do that, we go to policy and objects, firewall policy, create new. We'll just name this office guest to WAN. The incoming interface is going to be the office guest, outgoing internet, which is WAN, source, all, destination, all, always, service, all. And then we select OK. Okay, we have successfully created both of our SSIDs. We have also created the policy for our office guest network to have access to only the WAN or the internet and not the local network. So now you just need to test both networks. You would connect your Wi-Fi device to the office network and then see if you have internet and see if you can also access other devices on the LAN. And then you would disconnect from this and you would connect to the office guest and you would see if you could access the internet and you should not be able to access devices on your local area network. And that's it.